Good day to you. My name is Aya, and this video is about soul contracts and trust, or the lack thereof. <laughs> um, it came up in a conversation yesterday, and actually a few conversations and journal entries <laughs> yesterday. So I'm making a video about it today because I'm being led to. So, soul contracts. Everybody is in contract with everybody. Some of the contracts, soul contracts that we have with other people are a little bit more lofty, <laughs> a little bit more detailed, um, and more involved than others. So the soul contract that you have with your mother is probably going to be a few pages longer than the contract that you have with the bus driver who takes you to work Monday mornings. Understand? So, when it comes to our contracts, like our general contracts, soul contracts with everyone, um, there is always a reflection clause. Meaning, when you see another person, you will always be looking at yourself. You will always be given an opportunity to see areas within you that are strengths, that are weaknesses, that are ego traits, things that need to be healed or resolved, or things that need to be forgiven or addressed. Always, always. Every single contract has this clause in it. Every relationship you have with any human or any entity <laughs> in all of creation, there is a reflection clause, as within, so without, okay? So, if you are in a relationship with someone and you have this recurring thought of I don't know if I can trust him or her or I can't trust them then I'm gonna walk you through that and let you know what's really going on as far as the reflection and as far as the soul contract is concerned so first of all I have a, one of my new favorite life coaches is Gabby Bernstein or Gabrielle Bernstein. And she says that we need to step into our power and take 1000% responsibility for our life. So first of all, the statement, I can't trust him, needs to be shifted right off bat from I can't trust him to I don't trust him. The word can't is useless. It makes you feel powerless. It's, it's just completely useless. Um, so putting power into this statement automatically by changing can't to don't. I don't trust him. This also implies choice. Everything's a choice. So trusting someone is a choice. Some people choose consciously choose to trust someone when their gut is saying don't do it <laughs> which implies that trusting someone taking that leap of faith and deciding to invest your loyalty or deciding to consciously making a decision to believe whatever they say all of that is choice so instead of i can't trust him or i don't know if i can trust him to I don't trust him. Like, just make a decision. Do you trust him or not? Okay, if you have the question, you probably don't. So let's talk about that. I don't trust him. Anytime in life that we're dealing with other people and we're in this, like, blaming place um, or we're pointing something out to another person, we might as well take that person's name out and put our name in. So if you're saying, I don't trust Bob. You might as well say, I don't trust myself, whatever your name is. I don't trust Io. So if you're in a relationship with someone and you don't trust that person, it's not really an issue of you trusting that person or not. That's not the core issue. The core issue is whether or not you trust yourself. So I can't trust him becomes I don't trust him. And I don't trust him becomes I don't trust me. And then you explore that. So the number one guide in exploring any kind of reflections that you have in life um, 
whether it's I hate him, that the reflection of that, what the real issue there is, is I hate me. So any issue you have with that, you take that straight to spirit. Because even as a coach, even as a soul contracts coach, I can only take you so far till we get to the point where I'm literally guiding you into the silence so that you can consult with your own inner teacher. Now, when I asked spirit about this, what she said to me was, if you don't trust self, it's because you don't know me. Because if you knew me, if you knew the God within, you would trust me. Understand? So when you get to the end of figuring out what the real issue is, like you're judging someone, she's so irresponsible, becomes I am so irresponsible. I'm thinking that I'm irresponsible. In what ways have I um, displayed irresponsibility? In what areas of my life? can I be more responsible or take more responsibility? Like you can really just take this thing and, and take it to spirit and really give yourself a huge project of something to work on. So getting back to the untrustworthiness that you may feel in a relationship, if that keeps showing up, especially if it's in multiple relationships, the only constant is you and everyone's reflecting you. So when you get to the point where it feels like or where you're accepting the reflection is, oh, I have some um, issues with self-trust happening here. Let's explore that. Let's see what needs to happen. For me, spirit says you need to become more intimate with self. You need to learn to hear your intuitions and to go with them. And let me tell you how when you trust yourself, you will not continue creating relationships with people you deem untrustworthy because as soon as you get that gut feeling that this person is deceitful or this person is not serving my highest good and I'm not serving their highest good either you don't even you don't even continue you don't even go into it now when I say that others are a reflection of you that's absolutely true so the people that you draw into your life won't be the deceitful type if you're not being deceitful with yourself okay wonderful Thanks so much for watching. My name is Ayo and I'm a soul contracts coach. So if you would like to set up a consultation with me, please contact me using the links below.